Welcome to the Lakata Group Real Estate Showcase. We're here at the Keller Williams Capital Properties Studio in Stafford, Virginia. The Lakata Group is your team of real estate advisors. Here with me today are two of my teammates and colleagues, Jasmine Ruby, our Client Services Manager, and Michelle Bowen, our Listing Manager. On this program, we'll be talking about anything and everything related to real estate to help you make an informed buying and selling decision. On today's show, Jasmine, Michelle, and I will discuss the importance of first impressions when selling your home, particularly landscaping, staging your home for photographs, and marketing your home. Almost all people looking for a house or any property are turned on or off by the first sight when they pull in their driveway. In fact, it starts when they're looking on the internet. Michelle, what are some very easy and inexpensive ways to enhance your home's curb appeal so you can get the most money in the least amount of days on the market? Actually, John, based on recommendations from Tim Bettendorf of Bettendorf Landscaping, flower beds need to be clean and look well maintained. Any weeds need to be pulled and fresh mulch applied. Also, you'll need to remove sticks, any debris, and low-hanging branches. Also, you'll need to keep bushes trimmed as an item most homeowners overlook. Now remember, the most important time to trim 90% of shrubs is early spring or late winter. So, if you're getting ready to put your house on the market this spring, start thinking about trimming that needs to be done. Another thing is to tidy up the yard. Any items that may be an eyesore need to be moved or put away. Repair or fix items that are visible from the street. Some things may be repairing loose shutters, siding, things of that nature. Also, keep the yard free of leaves and keep the grass mowed during the warm months. Most important, keep up with these items while your house is on the market. Don't do them once and not maintain. I, I can tell you, Michelle, that my experience in working with buyers, that often you go to the house, they've seen it online, and before they even get in the door, they're disappointed, and they're shutting that house down real, real quickly. Jasmine, what are some things that you've experienced to help market the home or to give better impressions? Um, something that I can think of that I, I don't recall um, hearing you mention, Michelle, is uh, cleaning the gutters out, something that comes up a lot, especially uh, if a home does go under contract. Um, there, there's little items like that you can take care of ahead of time, mm -hmm. just like you mentioned, painting, um, the sidings, if there's any sidings messed up, sometimes they recommend um, that being done anyways. You know, it's funny you mention that. We've had a lot of rain here in Central Virginia and Virginia, and in about a week or so, I was showing a home and the gutters hadn't been cleaned, and it was pouring, and it was just overflowing from the gutters. And the client noticed that. Right away, that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know, another thing that I see when you're walking into a house, you'll have um, old things sitting outside, you know, trash sitting outside, you'll have uh, cars blocking the driveway, um, it, it just, you know, it, it just affects that first impression. It really does. Um, a buyer needs to be able to pull up to the house and envision themselves living there. So you want to eliminate things like bicycles laying in the yard, um, trash laying around, um, boots on the porch, um, all those kinds of things you really need to eliminate and make it as neutral as possible. I mean, the home is being lived in very often. But you're absolutely right. We have to give our clients an opportunity, or the client who's walking into the house, an opportunity to see in the house as they will live it. Right, exactly. What about um, neighbors? Is, is there anything as far as like neighbors' homes that, if you have a good relationship with them as a seller, you may kind of ask them if they've got things laying out in the yard to help, your, help you know, sell your home? 
personal function on the behavior. So actually, we have come across that before. Um, and assuming that you do have a good relationship with your neighbor, I would suggest maybe going and talking to them and telling them that you know you're planning to put your house on the market. Ask if they wouldn't mind to tidy up a little bit of you know keep the kids' toys and bikes and things like that up out of the yard just to kind of help give a, a good overall impression of the neighborhood. You know, in any house that I purchased, or even it would encourage someone to purchase, I uh, I, I encourage them to go and knock on the door. If they're really interested in that house. You know, it's, it's not too far to be able to go, knock on the door, and get an impression of the neighbors. Talk to the neighbors to see if that's someone they want to live next to. Right, this has been interesting, guys. A lot of good conversation for our clients and for people watching our show here today. We'll be right back after this.